from the back of a back lot of a movie studio in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. When I come home, it's game time. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wet or a convicted felon. <laughs> No, I am your host. I got our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story from the Associated Press. I'm not going to read the whole story because I have another story with which I'm going to follow it up. Dateline, McKinney, Texas. Jury selection has begun in the trial of a North Texas man accused of offering a would-be hitman $2,500 to kill his pregnant wife, Albert Jackson Sterling II. How proud Albert Jackson Sterling the first must be. Is charged with solicitation of capital murder. Sterling, 39, faces two life sentences, one for his wife and one for his unborn son if he is found guilty. Authorities say that in November of 2006, Sterling had both a girlfriend and a pregnant wife. So police say... He decided to hire someone to kill his wife. Sterling dropped the would-be hitman off at the Sterling's Allen home. It's Allen, Texas, leaving the back door unlocked and telling the man when his wife would return from taking him to the airport to visit his parents in New Mexico, according to court records. But the man told police he had a change of heart and decided to warn Roxanne Johnson hyphen Sterling. Jeffrey Thompson said he told her that he wouldn't hurt her and to call police. Thompson, who was not charged in the case, is expected to testify as a witness for the prosecution. Thompson has a criminal record which includes robbery, burglary of a vehicle, drug possession, and assault convictions. Sterling hasn't talked publicly about the accusations, but through his parents and attorney, he's denied any attempts to have his wife or unborn child killed. Sterling's mother, Audrey, last week said, Whatever this is, I know he wouldn't do nothing to hurt nobody. He'd never kill a bug. I just pray that the trial goes in his favor and that his family can get their life back together. Now, that's one story. And that brings me to the other story from ABC News. A study from the American Journal of Public Health found that homicide was a leading cause of death among pregnant women in the United States between 1991 and 1999. That data, taken from the Pregnancy Mortality Surveillance System, or PMS, S. At the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention found that the pregnancy associated homicide ratio was 1.7 per 100,000 live births. You hear what I'm saying? 1.7 out of every 100,000 pregnant women will be murdered. Assuming these statistics hold up. It says here also a 2001 study published by the Journal of the American Medical Association said 20% 20% of Maryland women who died during pregnancy were murdered. Researchers found the same trend in New York from 1987 to 1991. 
and in the Chicago area from 1986 to 1989. According to the CDC, approximately 324,000 pregnant women are hurt by an intimate partner or former partner each year. It says here pregnant women are more commonly targeted by men, particularly spouses, boyfriends, or exes. Also says here, surprise, surprise, men who kill pregnant women are most likely romantically involved with their victims and see the pregnancy and unborn child as obstacles and burdens in their lives. They may not want a child, may want to pursue an extramarital affair, or may want to keep an affair secret. Now, before I say what I'm going to say, let me make it very clear. Nobody should be murdering anybody. Anybody who murders anyone, whether they are pregnant or not, deserves to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. And I personally would be more than happy to stand up for anybody who is a victim of a cold-blooded murderer regardless of whether or not they are pregnant. So you understand what I'm saying? Killing people is always wrong unless there is self-defense involved. And that includes when somebody gets pregnant against your will. It's 100% wrong. Okay? So now there is no doubt about it. Don't be calling here and telling me that you think you know my opinion on this subject. You don't. I just told you what I think, and many of you will just uh, overlook what I just said and call up. Watch. It's going to happen. You're going to overlook what I just said. You're going to call and say that I said the exact opposite. So now that I've made it clear that I believe that murder in all cases is wrong, let me just say this. Ladies, just keep in mind that when you tell a man, I'm having your baby and there's nothing you can do about it, there is something he can do about it. He might kill you. And knowing the way some of you ladies love to date bad boys, dangerous guys, guys on motorcycles who pack heat or whatever it is you like, some of these guys are the exact people who would do this kind of thing. While I believe that if somebody kills you, they should be prosecuted and put away forever, the possibility exists that when you tell a man that he has no choice, he's going to be a father whether he likes it or not, he might kill you. The numbers don't lie. He might kill you. I mean, are you surprised that murder is the leading cause of death for pregnant women? Are you surprised? You thought it would be, what, complications for the pregnancy or high blood pressure or, you know, miscarriages or whatever. No. Leading cause of death for pregnant women in America, murder. Usually by boyfriends, husbands, and ex-boyfriends. All I can say, ladies, is you go ahead. You obviously have a right to your own body. You have a right to choose and all that. And murder is wrong and will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. But you do it at your own risk. Even if the guy is prosecuted, once you're dead, will you really care anymore? You might want to think twice before going to a guy and saying, you're going to have this baby whether you like it or not, and then you're going to live up to your responsibility. Because some, of, some of these guys are just going to kill you. Did you ever think about that? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. He wanted to live with me, but, you know, the worst thing that he ever did was have me listen to you because the more I listen to you, the more I realize that he's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the 
Tom Like His Show. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Leslie on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I was just, I wanted to be one of the few female callers to tell you that I think you are so right on. Uh, I am so sick and tired of hearing these pathetic women trying to. Uh, overpopulate the world as it is already and um, try to trap a man and think that that's the answer and it's just disgusting to me. I, I, I just think more of this needs to get out and um, I, I'm actually, my boyfriend and I talk about, you know, what you say and how you feel about this and we feel like you should, like, if you ever ran for anything, for office, that you should totally start a campaign on this and just end this um, stupid uh, uh, option women women have in, in trying to trap a man. It's the most ridiculous thing. It'll never work. Well, uh, some guys end up being trapped, and uh, some guys uh, kill the women who trap them. Yeah, well, I feel this. I'm not going to say anything else other than I, I totally agree with what you said in your full disclosure before you uh, stated your opinion, so I totally agree. I just thought I'd I'd say that. I, I think you should keep saying it. Remind everybody in every show. Thank you, Leslie. Okay. Appreciate the call. Is it any surprise, any surprise, that murder is the number one cause of death among pregnant women? Are you surprised by that? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Phil on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Hey, how you doing? Uh, you know, I'm doing. Um, yeah, calling from Vegas, big fan. Uh, I just want to know where your show was when I was 20 years old. Uh, I was a Marine in Thailand, and I brought one of them over here like an idiot. And uh, now I have uh, two really great boys. It's not the kids that I have a problem with. It's our judicial system handing off just about half my paycheck to her every month for her to sit on her fat collective butt and do nothing. And, um, you know, I think a lot of the reason that these guys get violent is not the fact that they're going to have a kid. I think it's the fact that they know that no matter what they make, that bitch is going to have her hand in their pocketbook for the rest of that kid's adolescence, you know, up until their I think it goes a step further than that because, yeah, I mean, you know, I know the money is probably a bother to them, but I think it's something bigger. I think it's the, the thought that some other person will have control over them. And that is ultimately because my, my ex definitely, she has control. She does control my emotions. No matter what happens, if something goes wrong with the kids, I'm getting a call. Or, you know, it, it, there is a lot of responsibility that goes along with it. But our judicial system will hand off money to them hand over fist. I have to pay alimony just because she doesn't want to get a job. And, you know, that's, it, granted, it's a tax deduction, but... That's another thing, you know, and that's because I was married. Granted, these guys that are, are single don't have to worry about the alimony factor, but the way that they calculate it, it definitely does put you at a disadvantage financially. I mean, I, I, you know, I couldn't afford my own apartment right now because they take so much, and it's it's a calculation. Are you are you thing. surprised? Are you surprised that murder is the number one cause of death for pregnant women? I, you know what? I am not, and there is a lot of it that goes on, unfortunately. And you know, like I agree with you, it is never an option. It's better to pay the money than to sit behind bars, and and to have the guilt of of killing somebody. But it unfortunately is is a fact, and it's not surprising because women do have that power. Now, not in all instances. I've seen guys get child support and back child support and whatnot, but it is not a surprise at all. But I just wanted to say that, Tom, and uh, to all those guys out there that are listening. I wish I had your show earlier in life, but uh, you know, you gotta you gotta buck up and you gotta take it. You make your choices and you uh, you deal with it. Tom, could you take me out old school, bro? I'll take you out old school. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Murder is the number one cause of death for pregnant women. Number one cause of death. Murder. Anybody surprised by this? Crystal on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. I want to know that since there's a woman's right to choose, which I'm completely in favor of, why there's not a man's right to choose? If it were on the other end and a man was trying to trap me and get money out of me for the rest of my life, I, 
I would do anything I could to try and get out of that situation. Would you kill someone? I don't know if I'd kill someone. Well, you said anything, so I'm asking. You know, maybe. I can't say, you know, whether I would or not, but it just doesn't seem fair to me. There should be some legal stipulation that says if, if you know, if a woman gets pregnant and he wants to get rid of the baby, he can sign something and give up his parental rights. You know what I mean? Well, Even if she wants to keep the baby. There, you can give up your parental rights, but you can never, ever, ever uh, be relieved of the uh, obligation to pay. Right. That doesn't seem fair to me. That doesn't make sense. I am totally in favor of a man's right to choose. You know, a baby should only be brought into the world when two people want to actually, you know, commit to raising that child and doing everything they can for that child, not to try and trap someone into a relationship or find an easy paycheck for the next 18 years. Well, I agree, but we keep making laws that make it easier and easier for women to do just that. I, you know, I want to, what is there that we can do to change that? I mean, who do I write to? Well, what do I do? You have to start with your state legislators. You got to tell them. You tell them you what know, you think. Maybe we should start a campaign. Uh, well, uh, you know, every time I've tried to start a campaign on the radio, it, it, it doesn't work that way. The way it has to work is that there has to be a grassroots uh, organization out there uh, that begins, and then I, I will support any grassroots organization that is formed. Yeah, I'm going to school for law, so maybe I'll start that. Uh, that's certainly a great idea. If you feel that way, I hope you will. All right. Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out Kobe style? I can, Crystal. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tanya on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. You know, if I was a guy, I would kill the girl, too. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, it's like, well, to look at through a guy's point of view, I mean, if you're spending your whole life just paying off these kids that you don't want, I mean, that sounds really bad, which, I mean... From a girl's point, that would hurt my feelings. But, I mean, from a guy's point, you know, I mean, that kind of sucks. Don't you think? That's his whole life. It's, like, stripped from his hands. Yeah. You know, just because this girl just wants to have one or even As two. a man, let me tell you, this is my worst nightmare. And I woke up many times in the cold sweat. Imagining that you're laughing, imagining that a woman came to me and said, "You're gonna have the baby with me, whether you like it or not, and you're gonna have the baby." Oh my God, kill me! Actually, that's kind of weird. I had some girlfriends that actually got pregnant, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, why do you want to have kids with somebody that doesn't want to have kids with you? Like you, like that just took the beauty out of it. You know what I mean? I mean, it would be different if you because know because they're not looking for want... beauty; they're looking for money. Okay, well, then that's crazy. Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's a whole different situation. And that's, but, I mean, can't you get money in a nice, peaceful way? I mean, it's like, that's like drama right there. That's like unhealthy for the kids. Women are the well. laziest, cheapest creatures on earth. And if they can get money without having to do anything, without having to lift a finger, that's what they will do. I know, but the stress is not even worth it, you know? Well, then I guess there's no love. I guess you're right. I guess these girls are just literally out there just, yeah, but why, why let your body go through that? <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, with like, my, really that because you got to remember, these women, once they get money, they don't need to look great anymore because they've got money. The reason women in America look great is to attract a man who will pay for everything. If a woman uh, gets pregnant, the man will be paying for all kinds of things. Therefore, she does not need to look great anymore. Well, I think that's things are changing slowly. I mean, we, we should keep our body for health reasons, you know, and cheaper insurance. <laughs> yeah, 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 you see how you see how healthy Americans are, huh? You see how healthy Americans are. Well, actually, yeah, my boyfriend actually is very, uh, in I mean, intelligent. He always tells me about you know facts about the world, and he said that the lead causing death is obesity. It actually outbeats smoking, and I was actually shocked. I was like, oh my god, are you serious, babe? <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's crazy. I guess the gym should be doing well. Uh, yeah, or it, not, or not doing well actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're right about that. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Thomas. Her telephone number. Thomas on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Thomas. How's it going, brother? Going great. 
You know this uh, this point of yours. I just turned on again, and it hit home right away, man. I actually have a uh, ex girlfriend, is what you can call it now, that's pregnant. And initially, uh, once I found out what a slut she was, is why we did break up, and she is pregnant. And the fact that I'm not sure it's mine is the reason why we are going to stay broken up. And the more that she gets this through her head, the more and more she's coming at me sideways, telling me different things, how she's going to cut me off and doesn't want me to do anything with the kid and all this crap. And even if it's mine, she doesn't want to name it after me. And I know this is all just a bunch of crap, so at the end of it, she can hit me for all kind of pay. What I was talking about is the... I have a couple of buddies of mine that are tied into a little, you know, to that little stuff out there in Mexico and L.A., and they're asking me uh, if I'd like to get rid of her. And uh, I didn't know it was an option right away, and I, and I, and I, am, I was contemplating it. I'm not going to lie. I was contemplating it at first because it would totally cut out all the crap that I'm about to go through in a couple months. And as sad as it is, uh, it, it, it's definitely something that guys are going to think about, and I know personally that's exactly why I called you. Now, would you actually do something like that? Uh, I wouldn't do it personally. I definitely would have my time accounted for and be somewhere else when it happens, but it, it definitely was something that was on my mind for a lot of months, and, uh, it, and it, the option is obviously there. All I have to do is make a phone call, and uh, it could definitely happen. I, I just don't know if I could live with it, but, I mean, I also have to live 18 years, as you say, 216 months of confinement is what it's going to feel like yep. you know, if, if it comes down to it, and I, I definitely thought about it, and when you said that right now, I couldn't believe it. I was blown away. That, that I'm not the only guy out there thinking like that. And, and, and I know, because I, I think of myself as the average guy, and I know exactly how it feels, and it sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 216 payments. 30 seconds of ejaculation for 216 monthly payments. I look at it as a as an 18 a year life sentence is what it looks like to me. And the fact that she could be rubbed out, my mind very thick. I just don't know if I'd be able to live with it after that, you know? Well, apparently some people uh, shoot first and ask questions later. Yeah, that's exactly what my buddy told me. Right when he found out that I was getting a bunch of crap, because, you know, you consult with your buddies, you know, and he's like, hey, you know, we can take care of this right away. And I was like, what do you mean? And he told me, and I'm like, whoa, you know, that's kind of serious. He's like, think about it. And I did. And that's the sad part is I thought about it really long and hard. And I'm like, man, it could actually happen. I just have to, I can go on vacation or something, you know what I'm saying? I got plane tickets and use my credit card across the country. I'd be somewhere else completely when it happened, but. I don't know if I'd be able to live with it after it's all said and done, but it definitely, definitely thought about it for a long time. Thomas, thank you for the call. I appreciate it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Uh, murder, number one cause of death among pregnant women in America. Surprised? Jeanette, hello. No. Hello? Hello. Who's coaching you over there? Excuse me? Who's talking over there? Jeanette. Who's talking in the background, Jeanette? My boyfriend. Tell him to shut up. He said, shut up. <laughs> oh, he said your mama. But anyways. Okay. Um, Look, if, if you want to have a conversation with him, I'll just move on. No, 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 no. no. I want to talk to you. Well, well, I want to move say away I from him. To do, he has to shut up. You're either talking to me or you're not. No, I'm talking to you. If I hear his okay. voice again, I'm going. This is my feeling on the situation. I think any man that, that sits there and wants to kill a woman because they lay down and got someone pregnant is totally wrong. Uh, I just heard him again. Thanks for calling. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I'm not kidding about this, though. I'm not kidding. You're going to call here. I don't want to hear other people in the background. I don't want to hear the radio on. I want you, You're either talking to me, and that's the only voice I can hear, or not. Karina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Um, I just want to say to all those women that are calling, saying that they agree with that men shouldn't, with using a condom, using their head, maybe, maybe they wouldn't have the girl pregnant. So why would they have a need to go, want to go and kill their baby's mom? That's just ridiculous. That's stupid. But well, watch you your wanna, mouth. We're on the air. Watch your mouth. I'm sorry. You want to, you want to have, you want to have sex with no strings attached or whatever, however you want to do it, well, protect yourself. Handle your business and protect yourself. Don't go out there, you know, just... But that has nothing to do with what... Look, the people who are committing murder of pregnant women, they're not sitting back thinking about the stuff you're talking about. Then it's their fault. That, nobody cares whose fault it is. Do you understand, dear? That, that all the nagging and all the finger-wagging like you're doing right now, if a guy wanted to kill you, 
He don't want, he's not going to listen to any of this. He's going to kill you. If you get pregnant and you tell a man that he's having the baby, whether he likes it or not, and he's going to have to live up to responsibility, he may not sit there and listen to your nagging. He's just going to kill you. It's not nagging. That's exactly what it is. No, it's not. It's being honest. If they don't like the truth, then they need to go somewhere. But, darling, do you understand? All, all this arrogance on your part could get you killed. <laughs> well, if I would be careful, of course, with the man that I would be sleeping with. Of course. But if the guy knows... That I'm telling you, him. if you go to a man and tell him he's having a baby and he has no choice in the matter, it's possible he'll kill you. Murder's the number one cause of death for pregnant women. No, I don't... I really don't think so. Uh, the, <laughs> darling, it's from the, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in, in Atlanta, Georgia. It's a government agency. Yeah, what do you mean you really don't think so? What evidence do you have? What statistics do you have? I don't have statistics. That's my... Well, I do. Okay, but I'm just... So I don't care what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. This is not an opinion we're expressing here. It's a fact. Number one cause of death for pregnant women is murder. That's a fact. It is not debatable. I don't care whether you agree or not, unless you're a statistician with better data than the, than the federal government. Just shut up about your opinion because your opinion is uninformed and ignorant. It's not ignorant. An it's ignorant. Is an opinion. No, you have it's no right. Matter, we're not I, talking I about an opinion. We're talking about a fact. I want to do you know the difference between an opinion and a fact? I do. Yeah, well, guess what? What I stated was a fact, not an opinion, and it's not up for debate. Murder is the number one cause of death among pregnant women, period. Your opinion is irrelevant. Okay. It's a fact. Okay. Now that you know it's a fact, deal with it. I know it's a fact. I'm just trying to... Why are you telling me you don't agree with it? I'm not saying that I... I'm not saying that I don't agree with it, but I don't say that I agree with it either. What? I'm not trying to say that I don't agree. It, it could be a possibility. It's not a possibility. It's a fact. It's a fact. But the number one cause of women's pregnant women is because... The number one cause of death among pregnant women is murder. Primarily by exes or current boyfriends and husbands. That's a fact. Hmm. As a woman, I know logic is challenging for you. That as a woman, what? I know logic is challenging for you. Logic is not challenging for Oh, me. clearly it is. No, it's not. Well, you're sitting here arguing with facts. I simply wanted to say that I think it's wrong that, that men feel that way about, about their... Well, it doesn't matter if it's wrong. You understand this is the risk you take. If you go to a man and you start giving him that uh, arrogant uh, attitude... You're going to have, we're having this baby, do you like it or not? There's a possibility the guy's going to kill you. One out of 10,000 times, the guy will kill you. But that's stupid, though. Well, it doesn't matter if it's stupid. You tell him, you're, tell him how stupid he is right as he's pulling the trigger. Great. <laughs> not going to matter how stupid you think he is. You'll be dead. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. I just have a problem with you calling women dumb bitches. I don't see where you get off. Well, I only do it when they are dumb bitches. Yeah, but it's just such a derogatory term. You cannot find any other words in your vocabulary just to express how you feel. Oh, yeah. Dumb whores, uh, stupid broads. There's plenty of words about vocabulary. You are not even uh, I'm a, Why are you on I'm, the radio? This is I'm over the hill sluts. I mean, I'm, I'm like a thesaurus. I got plenty of words. It's the Dumb Likey Show. The Tom Like is Show. At 1 800 5 800 Tom. Thank you for joining again. Murder, the number one cause of death among pregnant women. Some surveys say that murder is one of the leading causes. Other surveys say it is the leading cause. We're splitting hairs here. Bottom line, you surprised? 
It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Harrison on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, hello, Tom. Yeah, hey, uh, no, no disrespect, but have have you? I just it's a question toward you. To you, uh, it's never crossed your mind, has it, Tom? With your uh, your relationships that probably didn't work out too well. I have never been in a position where a woman said she was having my baby, whether I liked it or not. Well, uh, no, I wasn't in talking about baby. I'm just talking about your. I, I know we're talking about ba- you know. A pregnant no, I've woman. never. No, I've never thought about killing anybody. Never ever, right? No. Okay. I didn't know disrespect. I just wanted to ask. I want to know your opinion. I no, respect your opinion, too. No, because you know why, though? I'm too pragmatic. I think ahead, you know, what happens to the rest of my life? What happens to me? I got too much good stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, I'm just maybe when you were young. I mean, everybody, I mean, obviously people have thought of, uh, you know. I, I will say this. If, if a woman gave me and said, I'm having a baby and nothing you can do about it, I'd only be human to think about that. But I, I, I've never been in that position. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of your listeners. Well, I mean, I am a listener, but uh, I'm the first time caller, obviously. Uh, I know you you bag on some of your callers sometimes about uh, or your audience demographic, whatever. But uh, I just thought I would ask you that question, see what your opinion was. Well, I, and you did, so no point repeating it over and over and over and beating it to death. Lee on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Man, Dad, I needed you a few years ago on this one. Well, I've been here, Lee. Where have you been? Well, I've been here and I've been there. I'm a long-time, short-time kind of guy, but uh, this topic right here it made me have to pull over and put it in park and blow off some steam. Really? Yes. I am going through this situation as we speak. Is that so? That is very much the case. And I'll give you a little backstory. I've got a young son, about three years old, been going through the great state of Texas court process over this child. And I have two other children from a previous marriage that I'm paying out the wazoo every month. And I'm pretty much working for Uncle Sam and ex-wives and ex-girlfriends. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it's almost to the point where, you know, I have thought about it. I have thought about it very seriously because, you know, a man out here making an honest living, you know, I won't throw out numbers for, you know, status quo, but, you know, you're throwing out a hundred grand a year and you're pulling in 27 after you pay the government and the exes. Come on. Believe me, I I know what you're talking about. And And that's uh, why I ask these women, you know. When you say, I'm having a baby and nothing you can do, you better live up to your responsibility. I mean, are you are you ever thinking about the possibility the guy will just blow you away? And I've came really close, to be honest with you. Very, very close. Closer to the point where a, a millisecond, and it probably would have happened. Really? Yeah. What's, is- what stopped you? Uh, well, her brother is a law enforcement officer, and if anything ever happens to her, if she gets a minor scratch on her car, it seems like I get the task force at my house asking me 50 questions. Wow. Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty bad. So I, I can understand that, and I totally agree with that, that that would be a, a big cause because you know, it, it drives a man almost to the point of insanity where he would rather do something that drastic. And and I wouldn't even stop at that, Tom. I got to the point where it was so bad and so hard and so difficult to deal with. You know, I'm not talking about blasting her. I'm talking about blasting her, the kid, her brother, her mother, and then you're going to have to blast yourself. It's been that emotional and that bad. That is pretty extreme. Thanks a lot for the call, Lee. Jeff is listening to us online in Phoenix on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing great. Hey, I just wanted to add a point. I mean, if this guy, right, they just got off the line here, if he's sitting here talking about how, you know, he's pulling in that much money, you know, I first of all, I don't believe he's pulling in 100K if he's getting that stressed out and getting himself in that kind of situation. But I've seen people uh, very close to me actually go through the exact same thing. They were good guys and, and everything. And the point is, is that 
a woman has the power to drive any man that crazy. Nothing else. Like, I don't care if you're talking about money. You could always get it back. But for some reason, there's always a woman that can drive your, a man to that point. Mm-hmm. They have that power. Nothing else does. I've never seen anybody else get in a fight with another guy, anything, unless it's over a woman, that they have that power. So you have a man who has all this pride and power, and men are hunters, and you got women who are sitting there saying, hey, I'm going to take all that away from you, say that I'm going to take you, and I'm going to have to take you to the bank, I'm going to have your baby, and then all of a sudden the man is helpless. I think that's the number one reason that that men go after it, not because of the money. And I think women need to think about that before they approach a guy and say they're going to have a baby. I think they need to think about it. Yeah, it's one. I I I really I really think it's just the only emotional thing you can get from a man is about a woman. And the second that they get the upper hand in that way, I just think there's a lot of guys that. I mean, me personally, I I've gone absolutely nuts. The only time I've felt that rush, I've gotten lots of bar fights and things like that and never felt as emotionally intense and you know not even to the point where i want to kill her because i think that's ridiculous but you know i can i'm not in some of these guys situations but if i was who knows because that that stuff can absolutely drive a man crazy and when you're in the heat of the moment like that it can really push you over the edge oh i'm sure that's true jeff thank you for the call vanessa on the tom like show hello Hello? Is that a question or a statement? No, I just my phone was cutting that out. I'm sorry. Um, hi, Tom. This is Vanessa. I've only heard you a couple times, but um, um, I agree on some of the subjects that you have, and it's entertaining. But I just think this subject is kind of out of out of your usual um, show or program. It's out of my it's, usual show. Yeah, because I think it's too extreme for you to be talking about murder and pregnancy and how the fact that... You talk um, about pregnancy all the time. No, the thing is, like, you're kind of blaming woman's arrogance on the fact that... No, I'm not uh, blaming anything. I'm just saying that's a fact, that murder's the number one cause of death for pregnant women. I'm, Wouldn't it be wise for women to be careful before they go to a man and say, you're going to have a baby with me with you like it or not? Don't you think it would be wise to give that some no, thought that maybe oh, yeah, the guy, I, maybe I the guy's going to kill you? No, I definitely agree. I agree, but I, it's just kind of shocking the fact that that's an option for people to... You know, try to get out of the situation. Why is it shocking? These statistics have been coming out over a course of many years. I, I understand that. I know. So what's it's shocking like, about I, it? I'm very, I'm very kind of um, strong on the on whole, like women getting abused by men and and getting killed by men only because they feel like they're going to be stuck in a corner. Like I, I think that men have to hold themselves responsible too for what they do. I mean, but but what difference does that make if you're dead? What difference does that make if you're dead? I know. So so what do you want women to do? They go, they get into a relationship with somebody, they get pregnant. Many times they're not even in a relationship with these guys, and, and these guys don't want to be parents. I understand that. So then why don't these men take responsibility for, for sleeping with these men? Again, I mean, you're, you're, sure. you're trying to reason with somebody who's clearly going insane. Anybody who kills another person is going nuts. These people are not thinking rationally. And by thinking you can reason with them, you're not thinking rationally. No, I understand that. I, I Like I'm telling you, I know... Before you, you kill me, you should just know that you're responsible for this. You should have laid down with me. If you don't want to have a baby, you should have laid no, down with no, me. No, you can't shoot me because it's a woman's right to choose. And if you try to shoot me, you're going to pay for it. And I just want to say that you're really stupid for thinking you could just come in here and shoot me like this. No, no, I'm not saying that they're stupid. I'm saying women are stupid to think that men are actually going to be responsible for something. You know, because... I mean, if you're going to go ahead Because when we have sex with you, that doesn't mean we want to have babies with you, period. It doesn't mean we love you. It doesn't mean we care about you. It means we need a place to ejaculate. That's yeah, it. You, you want to get off. I completely, that's what I'm telling you. I agree with some of the facts that you're saying. So women should be very careful before they go to a man and get in his face. You get into that year is that familiar. Because some of these guys will kill you, literally kill you. And I, I'm amazed how many women just don't want to accept the possibility that some of these guys are going to stab. Why so many of them are getting killed? Our email address 
and they should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, by the way. Uh, our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.